Hello, hello, good morning. Uh, Grand Rising for those who are word sensitive. As the Ace of Space does um, have a sensitivity with words, as they say, right? So, so Ace of Spades week is um, if you are new or have not been a part of this morning show, um, we talk about each card uh, on a week. Um, yeah. Hey, G. I'm going to a safe space. Um, okay. <laughs> and if you don't know, also, and the um, third diamonds. So I am. I have many things going on usually. All over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, it really backfired because. Um, I am. Um, I have an electric vehicle, but it's not a, a extended battery or one of those type of vehicles. And I went from um, Camarillo to Malibu, and that's like 50, 40 miles. Not really, but that's as far as the battery length. It kind of went. It's really like 30. So when I got here, I'm on like 30 percent. Um, but the thing is, I traveled from um, it, like North Hollywood, I think I was somewhere, like Christian somewhere, and so I traveled to, um, gosh, to um, Amarillo. So yeah, the travel was like way too much. A little eighty mile battery. That's my fault. I, usually, I plan ahead or kind of go there really early and charge the car like two hours early and charge up and then be on the road with this particular but I did not this morning. So and so Ace of Space is the card of ambition, which is another reason why Three of Diamonds works <laughs> so much as, as well. Um uh, the key to the Ace of Space answers a lot of times is work, money, you know, a lot of those things. And try, try to solve their problems <laughs> of not having enough. But it's, sorry for the long intro. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Where is no, he? Thought, What's he? Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, um, I was going to make it all connect. But yeah, that's that's where I am. But I am at my destination in safe space. I just have to find a charge point, um, which I think I have found. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, that you know this energy. I've been watching it play out, obviously, because my oldest is this card. So, um, seeing the transition that she's been going through from, you know, being in a relationship and now they're not together anymore, and so watching that and so <laughs> she went into a very dark space as it was happening which kind of makes sense for all the craziness that i was going through with her but to watch her kind of rebirth herself this week specifically um has been really interesting because you know how i've always said she well she says it not me that she for her when it comes to like relationships and stuff, she has that funeral in her head. <laughs> Poor people. Um, which I kind of think is genius, you know, it, it you know. <laughs> um, so she's been very, you know, it, she's been, her herself has been, I guess, resurrected in a sense of like, what was I thinking? You know, like I, she realizes she lost herself. She lost the focus on herself. Um, from being in the relationship. And so it's been, you know, when I, I, you know, I'll pick her up and she'll just go off on something. And I just let her go, like, get it out because you can tell she's just really, you know, kind of, again, going through a death and, and rebirth transformation, more importantly for herself because of her relationship. So, you know, life is your greatest teacher. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she's been... Uh, coming back stronger. Like now she's more, you know, focused. She's back to going, wanting to go to the gym and get back in the gym. And, you know, cause even that was a little shocking that 
you know, when everything was kind of transpiring, she kind of just really, you know, um, she kind of was spiraling for a little bit, but, you know, luckily she has a good support system and, you know, able to kind of let her see, but at the same time, I, you know, she has to kind of go through the things and that's the best way for her to learn. You know, I don't think she'd make the same mistake again in a relationship, whether she goes, you know, him and her make it or they move on. I think she sees how much a relationship can be a distraction, you know, for what you want to do and the goals that you have. Um, so, yeah, it's been definitely an interesting thing to kind of watch. Yeah, that's another thing. Um with the ace of spaces relationship and i and 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 i was talking to someone and was talking about a part of the five of clubs i think it was and uh, why they um and and we were speaking about relationships and they have the space and venus and they go through a lot of relationship issues as well um and it can be like like traumatic, really disappointing for them, and and I had to see why uh, for that five of clubs, and and I seen the the ace of space, and when I was looking at ace of space, that's two sevens in Mercury and Venus, you know, mm -hmm. um, so the relationships and finances and can, can can really throw them off track. Listen, uh, do you know what all she complained about? Do you know how much money I spent on? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Like, every, I would have so much, so much more money if I wasn't paying for two every time. <laughs> she just went off like this. She went off in like in the car. I guess she's just you know coming out of the fog of you know my heart's been broke type energy and 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 not feeling sorry for yourself and that pity party we can have. And she is just like, oh hell no, <laughs> I spent my money, you know so it's funny how you go, you see the stages of grief, um, even if it's not just, even though it's not an actual physical death, but there is still an ending of some sort and watching the the stages of the, you know, the grief come out because she got, you know, she was sad, very, very sad. Now she's angry. <laughs> and, 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 but at the same time, it's like you kind of, you know, when you look back, you know, and she's even made comments like, I should have listened to this person. I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> you know, because in the beginning, you know, not everybody was supportive of it because of because of what they're doing, you know, playing ball at school specifically for that. Coaches were kind of telling her, you know, don't do this, but she didn't listen. And here we are. And now she's like, I wish I, sh I should have listened. Well, you know, we all, you know, that's part of life. You know, we, we do what we feel is the best thing for us to do. And not to say that it wasn't a good thing because you got to experience, you know, caring for somebody, having somebody. Um, but yeah, you know, it, so it is definitely been uh, interesting to kind of watch this play out and, and be in a space where, you know, I, I've, I've had to learn being that, that projector energy, like let her come, when she comes to me, it's better. Because, you know, as a mom, you want to sit, you want to help, you want to give all the information and the advice or, the, you know, whatever you, they need. And, and I realized I can be a little overbearing in that space. So um, it's better for her to come to me rather than me trying to, you know, save it or fix it. And that's been a lot better because <laughs> then now, you know, it, with her coming to me, it, 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 it opens up a door rather than me trying to force a door open, you know. Yeah, uh, especially being a projector, I think that's probably the, the most um, important thing whenever you're trying to help someone, and, and because you you feel, you know, it's the, it's the rejection that, that comes mm -hmm. with projectors. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't imagine trying to help your poor child <laughs> in, in 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 the situation. And these cards are probably would have saved me a lot of time and life and with certain things and, and, and situations when it comes to 
understanding the flow and the disappointment like that that is so real when it comes to the ace of spades and the seven of diamonds let me see if i get my screen back i don't know what this is like we <laughs> um but it's so real when it comes to like the ace of clubs and, i mean the ace of spades and the um and the seven of hearts and, and that sequence and it's very important because it's, it's it's venus you know so it's a point of desires you know and and relationships but you have two sevens and two nines that in that 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 lineup you know so it's it's like mm -hmm. you really have to understand the uh the use of relationships and 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 where to put them properly and how to properly categorize them and how to define relationships you know especially i'm uh, looking at like that that um the was that saturn venus nine of clubs i always say that um another card i always say that has like looking at the definition of relationships the five of hearts i believe it is and the six of diamonds has it pluto and the nine of clubs has the six of diamonds supporting it um so so just just the how you the perspective of relationships and letting people go and, and the proper placement and understand your personal life path and not pressing people too much on on, on what they're doing you know it, it really makes you look at uh, loving people for who they are and not being attached, you know, and trying to carry a people, carry people along in the journey with you, you know, like everyone um, can't go. I think the best advice one time I got was from this girl named Phoenix. Uh, she's an R&B singer. Like she, she, I, you know, I'll, I'll do trades and, and readings for people. Uh, and so I got a reading from her. Uh, and I n didn't even know she did readings. That's why I said that's why there was a trade at the time because I don't know how like how she was. I didn't even know she did readings, but uh, she was like, let me do one for you. And I was like, cool. And she was like, yeah, there's a situation where this person is not going to be able to go where you're going. They're not going to understand the journey that you're going to go through and the path that you're going and that and you're going to get invited to places where they can't go and it may be seemingly frustrated, frustrating for them, you know? And that's such like an ace of space. And I have, and, and she pulled the hermit card and I was like, and then me thinking about it now is such an ace of spades reading, right? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it the path can be lonely sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. I always look at those those nines as journeys, you know, of 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 destiny. You know, the ace of spades has to understand everything is happening for your great good. I think that's kind of like mm -hmm. a quote, so, you know, through the the triumphs, the hurdles, and all those, everything is, is ultimately going to be for your greater good, but you're going to lose people along the way, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and it definitely has betrayal that, that comes in, in as well. I think uh, on the cover photo, I put uh, this is what it looks like when the when the Seven of Hearts or Ten of Clubs displaces the Ace of Spades. And what I meant by that is public betrayal or someone crossing you or putting out information or giving information about you that you that you may have wanted to keep secret because it is mercury neptune right so mm -hmm. it, a lot of times that can be a debilitation even within astrology as well um but that's also a, a secret information esoteric information you know astrology and all those particular concepts that come through so you know, when in astrology, they always tell you, or they like, don't don't show your charts. You know, you want to give everybody all your secrets in your life. You know, so and but it's also points to where we find personal parts of ourselves. We find understanding about ourselves. More information comes out. Like you said, like she she probably went through that relationship and had an epiphany. Like, dang, I am dangerous in relationships. I have to watch how I can be blinded by love. You know, and making sure that I focus on myself and stay ambitious, you know, because it's a, it's a card of ambition. The worst mm -hmm. thing that you get, like that can hinder your ambition, anybody is a relationship. <laughs> like mm -hmm. that's why, honestly, that's why men sometimes protect themselves so much because they know they can get lost. Like, I'm sorry, women, you have a certain amount of power that you can either help a man or you can destroy, him, you know? Yep. So like, he has to watch his 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 journey and how much he gives to another person. It's the ace itself, you know, it's valuing oneself, self preservation, self knowledge. So when when you give yourself to another person, 
you're also compromising yourself a little bit, you know, or, or giving a little bit of, of your time, and energy to someone that you'll never get back. So you have to make sure that's that's valuable, you know, like the aces includes ace of diamonds, ace of clubs. I'm like looking at all the aces and how attached they are to the queens, you know, because it is an important. So if you don't have one that can give to you or if you don't have that balance of a woman or a man, whomever it may be that you're giving to and putting your time towards, you're going to be sacrificing something, you know, mentally, physically or, or wherever. And that's what she realized, you know, she, that's all she's been talking about the last, what day is today, Thursday, probably since the beginning of this week. It's like, she kind of, you know, came out of the dungeon and said, I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's a good sign. You know, now, you know, she wants to eat again. Um, <laughs> and then and, and everything starts playing out. And she realized, like, that's her thing, too. Like, you know, basketball, for her to not want to, like, the way she was talking and, 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 and you know, the wanting to give everything, you know, quit everything um, was kind of unusual for her. And I knew it was just because of the emotion she was experiencing. But, you know, they really do cannot lose themselves. And, and she realized, like, she... She kind of was, and she even said, I was the main one, you know, if she felt like she was the only one fighting for the relationship. And, and at the same time, I mean, let's not forget, these are really young kids, essentially. You know, they don't have the means to kind of get back and forth. He doesn't, she doesn't. So, you know, and, and, she, and it was really us getting her down there um, and, you know, a lot more effort on her part, she felt. And so for her, she is so very driven. And, and that's what I've had to explain to her. I said, look, not everybody thinks like you do. Not everybody has their whole life mapped out like you do. It's like people barely know what they're doing tomorrow. You know, people don't know what they got, were doing in a month. Like, but for her in her mind, like it's, it's laid out. Like this is how she sees it. This is what she wants. And like you said, that drive, that ambition there, it's unmatched. It, it really is unmatched in my opinion. When, when you really operate from the high side of this energy. But I think one of their biggest challenges is one, staying present, because they're constantly on to the next. They never actually sit and stay with, you know, enjoy present those two sevens, you know, those swings is the, the extreme. I've realized that those sevens, especially with them being the very first two, I, I had a lot of epiphanies about the, the ace of spades and the jack of hearts and how similar, um, it can be because I, you know, the Jack of Hearts has the two nines right off the rip. The Ace of Spades has the two sevens. So we both can <laughs> go to the extremes to the nines <laughs> and then we know those sevens can <laughs> be extreme. So it's, it's been an interesting ride. Um, but uh, you know, the, um, what I found interesting too, the Ace of Spades has a seven of diamonds as their Venus card. The seven of diamonds Venus card is the Jack of Hearts. So there's just certain things that I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting. And then the Jack of Hearts is the the Jupiter card to the Ace of Spades, which I can also see play out the victim mentality, the mm. not taking accountability, the not seeing that it's your, you know, because it's blindsided, you know, it's a one-eyed Jack. So they, you know, sometimes it's hard to see your own shit. <laughs> um, and so trying to get her to see that. And she, this week with just kind of everything playing out with this relationship situation, She's seeing her role. And I think that's one of the most important things is she's seeing her role. And I, it, it, you know, I think it's one of the best things for her to learn because I've struggled with her to see her role and her part in things. You know, it's been very hard to get her to take accountability. So maybe out of anything with this relationship and, you know, wherever it may go, ideally she's learning, you know, about herself, you know, and, and I think that's key for that energy because you you have you know being that ace, knowing who you are, what do you stand for, um, and not losing that, not losing your your autonomy in relationships, still having your own. Because with the two of them, it like they really did merge pretty strongly in regards to like sharing you know the accounts and you know her really being a very strong support system for him because him being international. And not having, you know, ways of getting in touch. Like, she was the point of contact for a lot of his stuff via the school. And so, you know, she realized, like, I did too much for him. And, and really kind of put herself aside, which was the worst thing she could have done. But you live and you learn. Yeah, and because uh, 
the seven of hearts falls in love fast. Seven of the, seven of diamonds, are not, maybe not so much because they're like someone was saying they can be a little bit more fearful, you know, uh, mm -hmm. out of sevens. Uh, I ain't gonna say they're the most fearful. May have to look at that. They could possibly, you know, they can be pretty stubborn, you know. I think so. Um, I have to look at that. Well, the seven seven of clothes has the jack of spades, mm -hmm. but yeah, the seven of hearts can fall in love quite fast. That's one thing they have to worry about is quick relationships, you know. Um, going and getting in one relationship after another, you know, and also out of the fear of being by themselves or being alone. You know, so they also that, can be extremely blindsided too. They have the Jack of Hearts in Mars. <laughs> right. and Mars. They let they that, it's it, they're quick to get involved. They see they they it, that Jack of Hearts can be so delusional. <laughs> <For what? laughs> but it's your like, I thought it was the seven, but because it's Neptune, Neptune. But of course, the, the lover, right? The lover boy, Jack Drake is a Jack of Hearts, the lover boy. And we're so do we we want to believe in this love story, this <laughs> fantasy, and it's all a bunch of shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you you know you have to see it for what it really is, and not what you concoct in your head or in your you know delusional mindset of what love and relationships like the princess fairy tale crap that doesn't happen <laughs> so we we tend to get caught up in in the fantasy or what we would want it to be and hope it to be that we'll miss the big red burning building that it is and still jump in at first <laughs> you know so it definitely you know has that 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 energy attached to it for, for real and because it is and doesn't the seven of hearts transform into the jack of spades yes mm. i believe it does so Again, there, there's got one eye jack and the other eye, one eye jack. <laughs> so just make sure you use all the eyes and you don't get, you know, lost in 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 the fantasy of what a relationship could be and see it see it for really what it is. Mm. I was um oh yes, the seven the seven of hearts you were talking about the, the and that's what it is. They they sacrifice so much for the mm -hmm. other person name of love. Yep. Um, I was talking about the Ace of Spades um, and all the disappointments and, and how they're just tired of a lot of stuff and, and it's this and that. And it's, and it's the disappointments. It's the sacrifice, you know, it's, it's the mis being misunderstood, you know, um, and, and because you, you give so much to a, a person and you give so much to the world or you have these high hopes and these high dreams and these expectations that ultimately doesn't pan out what you think that's supposed to be you know i think a lot of it is 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 thinking maybe too far towards the future you know like you said not staying present in mm -hmm. the now you know um and like we said getting married and seeing this this big love story and this fantasy in your head and it's and it's not what it what it what you thought it was you know and 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 not to say it may not be what it you thought it was i think a lot of times you want to use your intuition and, and use certain things but you got to find uh, mental and, and emotional balance you know uh, and stay within this reality well and just like any any i think one of the most important thing for anybody in a relationship is to not like don't don't let that relationship stop your focus stop your drive because you know for her you know there she didn't go to the practices she she could have easily you know gone further with basketball and not to say she hasn't i mean she's tremendous so it, not to take away from her by any means but because she got lost the focus because the relationship became consuming you know they lose that drive and luckily you know she's very strong willed and you know won't well, she, she didn't stay too too long you know to be in the in the in the funk but um when she was there it was it was it was definitely intense but um they i think the most important thing is to n not lose and you would think with the partner being in the same like goal to go play ball um for, you know for school that they would have you know kind of like that love and basketball movie <laughs> <laughs> But at the same time, though, it, relationships can, you know, they take you take you off your game because you lose focus. You know, oh, 
you know, we were up on the phone till two in the morning. So I didn't, I didn't get to go to the 6 a.m. practice, you know, because I'm tired because I was talking to you all night long. You know, you start to, you know, give up the things that you were doing prior to that person for that person. And then you end up, you know, where she is now at that resentment stage of I should have never, you know, I could have been here, da, 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 da you know, trying to let her see, like, it's not the end. You can keep going. You, you have an opportunity, uh, you know, to, to, to go further. Just next time, don't make the same mistake. You know, don't give up everything that you were focused on, you know, for that person. Keep, <coughs> excuse me, keep that focus. Hold on. Yeah, it, they have to, they're going to go through excuse me, a lot of disappointments and sacrifices with the seven of hearts and the seven of diamonds here. Um, and the journey is, is with the nine of spades and the ace of spades is, is one that they may not even understand completely until they're kind of older in age. So they, they must have to, they have to understand not to get distracted um, of course, the three of diamonds as well. We can jump from one project to to the another, to another, right? So in between that time, you find the emotional comfort, you know, for the disappointments or the journeys or the the pitfalls that you may be finding within the the just life itself, you know, like Saturn in itself. I look at places we're trapped by you know, um, gravity or whatever it is, I look at all that as like Saturn, like the restrictions that we have are bound to on this planetary um, plane. So to have like Saturn and, and to have that nine of clubs there, they can get, you know, drained mentally, just just, just be over it. Like, I just want to quit. I just want to give up. Like, forget it. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. And the nine of clubs has the queen of hearts challenging it. So the emotions and the mental are, are kind of tied together. So it's like really, I quit. No, like just, just get it. I just, I don't want to do it no more. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 nine of clubs, six of diamonds, and queen of hearts really have to watch yourself. You know, when it comes to emotional pitfalls and, and giving up and the trials and tribulations that that come about within their life. So that ace of the ace of spades has that. Um, and where in that Saturn, right? Yeah, yeah, in that Saturn, the nine, the nine of clubs, yeah, it's their Saturn, yeah. Um, so that goes for like career and all of those things as well. They may have to try a lot of different things, or they also have the five of spades as well that 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 makes them go through the changes and the motions and jobs and those things work you know but also the nine of clubs and five of space both are, they're gonna they're gonna play around with um what what works best for them albert einstein has uh what's what's crazy is um albert einstein mercury is uh and i believe is in neptune as if you look at it that's a debilitation in astrology my niece has Mercury debilitated in Neptune. And to think about that particular placement in the nine of clubs, because it speaks to finding your particular path in the niche, something that you're skilled or ex an expert, or you can teach easily. Because the nine of clubs is going to talk, you know, they're going to blurt out, you know, like, damn, where did that come from, right? <laughs> so it's going to find something that, that is skilled as the nine, it's a journey, it's a graduation, it's, it's a humanity. You no, know, so it's like your expertise almost. Um, so the ace of spades is, is has that Saturn, so they're gonna find the expertise, but it's gonna it may come late in life or it's gonna come over time. It's something they're gonna have to they have to mature. It. It's yeah. it's literally maturity there and, and maturing in, in their thoughts and their beliefs because nines are about you know seeing the bigger picture. Not getting caught up in the in the mundane, but really seeing the the the, the opportunity to grow. Because I feel like the nines, you because it represents such a a, a cycle, and, and it is a growth. You've reached a, a a point. So you you know, I think that's why the Ace of Spades can be a forever student or constantly you know mm -hmm. learning, going you know being in school or even like you said, a teacher of some sort, because they. When and having that five in Mars, the five of spades, right, and then a nine in 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 Saturn, I see those cards as like being free, not being attached. But they they have those sevens, you know. So it's you got to get out of that 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 
that um, being attached to the mundane and really see that they have a very, very, very powerful spiritual path that trust in the cycle, trust in the death, trust in the rebirth, that it is leading you, like you said, to more of where they're supposed to go. You know, and that that those nines, because they have the nine of spades and you're honest too. So it's maturity. It really is about growing. Because remember, they have a very immature card in Jupiter at its the Jack of Hearts. Is a, It can be a whole brat. It can be a whole baby. It can be a whole, you know, immature energy. So getting over that childlike, you know, immaturity and having to really mature and step into the adult energy, the responsibility, it kind of goes with that Saturn in the, in the nine of clubs, you know, but it's, I feel like sometimes it, uh, it you know, you, it, that t requires a lot of, <laughs> you know, being able to mature and let go because a, a nine in Saturn, we tend to resist more. It's like having a nine in Pluto. Where there's more resistance. We don't want to let go. We don't want to grow, but we have to. And it takes a lot of faith, um, unless yeah. you're talking about the doubt and fear that comes th that comes with it. I yeah, it most definitely has. Uh, the nine of clubs has a six tied to it. That's why I'm thinking about the future being. Where'd you go? I, I I'm here. I see. Okay, you. It, it went like out and back. But okay. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the doubt and the fear, Madeline. Um, that she just woke up. Um, join if you can. I don't know she may be there, but yeah, the doubt and the fear that comes along with the three sixes and nines, you know, that's gonna come either worrying about the past, future, or present, or what happened to stay present, right? Um, and the procrastination, man, oh my gosh, having the three push them, you cannot just just look past me pushing them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I will say what comes along with the the Gemini or any Geminis, you know, is they give up or they doubt their self or their sphere. They, cause Saturn is a part of the Gemini as well, right? So the work and the dedication, the time that comes with it, and a lot of doubt and fear that comes with it. You know, they can be insecure um, inside if, if you don't know something. So um, it can be some insecurity that, that's there as well, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but with, when you in and when you have a nine, it's so precise as far as timing and, and not going to miss your time, but if you're not present and if you can't speak up or you can't speak out when you're supposed to, you're going to feel like you missed your time. You're going to feel like you missed out. You're going to feel like you didn't do something correctly. And that, and that feeling and those emotions is going to pile up, you know, and it's just going to get heavier and heavier. And it's going to be like underwater, really, you know, where you feel like you're drowning and you have to fight and swim back up and to be successful, what it is, because time has passed you by or whatever it is, you know. But of course, like you said, I think this the, the Ace of Spades is such a deep card that life is a lesson that you're never really behind, you know, everything is really happening all the time. But you just gotta have patience, you know. That comes. Yeah, they don't it. have that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. And you gotta be the student. Literally, it is. <coughs> it's literally the, the student, you know, that is mm -hmm. becoming that. So you you have to be the student and, and trust the process, you know, which can be hard. A lot trusting themselves, and, and more important, you know, trusting themselves is, I think, one of the biggest things too. And with that three of diamonds pushing them, you know, there is that like there can be some uncertainty at the lowest, but at the same time, it's a very creative energy that I think when they tap into that, that, that expressiveness, because again, remember this card is it's Mercury, Neptune. They go from the beginning to the end. When you think about it from one end to the other, Mercury, Neptune, like the extremes of the, you know, and it shows in the sevens and the ninth and their spread. So they trust in the, you know, like, for her, you know, I've, I've watched her be talented at so many different things. No matter what she's ever done, she's done it very well. You know what I mean? There's There hasn't been anything, whether it was art, she has pictures all in her room that she's painted, Artist. you know, extremely creative. Um, you know, she, she, before that, like, you know, when she was younger, she... <laughs> She played at in in elementary school was playing flag football as the only girl on the team. You know, she was always super tall 
And, you know, the coach wanted her. She want to play? Let's, I'll take her because she's she's tougher than these boys out here. <laughs> um, and so, and, and and really, she she likes to win. She likes that. You know, she, she wants to be the best. They're extremely competitive, too. And I think that three of diamonds, you know, don't short self your, you know, yourself. There's a competitive edge to that card. They want to win too, because you have the ace of spades and Mercury. It's a card that they want to win. They don't like oh, to lose. Oh, I'm a sore loser. That's what yeah. it is. <laughs> I hate to lose. I hate failing. That's that's the part of the doubt and the fear is, is hate. Yeah. It's the tens, like it's the it's, it's the fear of failure. You know. Yeah. That that comes with it because I'm. <laughs> Competitive, like and when I was seven, eight years old, I cried after every game that I lost. I had to be on the winning team eventually. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> it didn't stop when I got to high school. I would pitch a fit after I lost. I'm not like my. Listen, cousin, I've almost had to throw her out my car. Like we're not gonna do this in this. You're not gonna act like like this is a, like what in the what is wrong with her? Like they would. I mean, the extreme. I'm like. Oh my God! How do you like? What do you do with this? Like, yeah, I'm a third diamonds ace of spades. But by, by the way, if no one knows, <laughs> I'm the Gemini. Um, yeah, this I, extreme I, sadness and dis defeat that comes. Like, oh, it is. Like I cried. I would cry. Like I would cry myself to sleep sometimes. Mm -hmm. like, my team was not the best, so I had to look at that. I was looking at that the other day. I was like. Guys, like what? Like I think you're at this point. Sometimes I don't do things because I'm so scared of those emotions and failing and mm -hmm. and not being programmed by. Because I was played for a sucky team. Like I played for a good team in, in, in like little league with the Eagles. And my dad was talking to me the other day. He was like, "If y'all just stayed together, y'all would have went to state or something." It was like me, AJ, um, uh, Joey. Um, Brian Mill, like it, we had like our little league team. Like when we came to high school, we was all like stars on our, our personal team. So it's like if we stayed together, we would have had an all star team. Like yeah, all of, like all conference and and everything in our in our um personal high school. So he was like, yeah, man, if y'all had to stay together, y'all would have been like it. Like but so, but it was, but I ain't like I had. That was the funnest time of football for me. That's what brought me joy. We won games. We were like a great team. And then I got to high school and we just sucked. I was like, oh, it was, just, <laughs> <laughs> it was disappointing. <laughs> so it was like, so I'm like, and I'm like thinking of like certain things I'm doing now and like certain habits I've created, you know, because I have to look at, like you said, the accountability, taking the accountability of myself and my habits and, and my thought patterns and my process. And I am so competitive. I hate losing. You know, I hate not winning. I hate not knowing what to do. I hate not knowing anything, you know. So it's like certain things, I, there's escapism or avoidance, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, well, if I don't do it, I, I don't win or lose. So it's mm -hmm. like. But Avoid, it's avoiding it. It's avoiding it. Yeah. Man, so ultimately, I have to, like, like I was saying earlier, like, you can't then you're going to look up and you're going to be coming towards the top because the ambition didn't go nowhere. You know, it's, it's still stuck there. Like it's like the inevitable ambition or drive to accomplish said thing, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, so there's no avoiding it uh, ultimately, you know? So yeah, there's this extreme passion and extreme uh, competitiveness that comes out of the three sixes, ace of spades, uh, um, out of those cards. And a lot of times they do um, become, going to sports and there's an artistic nature as well you know that, that can come out of that mercury neptune Pisces. oh yeah really dreamy it's like you can see the things before they happen like in football like i can see the play before it happened i would dream about the game and that's a part of the disappointment because sometimes i would see certain things i didn't like you know mm -hmm. so it's those it, you have to be comfortable with the inevitable losses as well because you will dream and see like you have an ace of spades Ace of Space week. You're gonna you're gonna dream about the future. You're gonna see success. You know you also may see certain things that you can maybe be preventative. Um, Jim Jones said the best thing I think that we had to think about. He says it's better to work towards prevention than it is to work for a solution. You know, like uh, and those dreams are there for the prevention, not just for your disappointment. 
that's the biggest thing, like the aces, but like just because you may have certain visions because you can't control the minds, you know, like the things with psychics or, or those people, they don't want to tell you bad things, but it's, they can't stop their mind or they can't stop the vision they can't so they have to tell you that's another thing i was going to ask this is one of those things about the ace of spades is um gosh about the inevitable is the um i was going to ask someone that may we'll talk about it later but it's something i wrote down maybe earlier well um gosh what was it trust on the there's something around that nature about division and um, and trusting a vision, and having to say what you seen almost, you know, <coughs> like Jack of Hearts. I have a comment. The Jack of Hearts is like Christ, right? So imagine Christ never went on his mission and never said or did the things that he was supposed to do. Like, well, where would he be? What would, would be his mission if everything's purposeful? You know, um, he was supposed to be a sacrifice. He was supposed to help people. But what if you don't help people? That's what it was. Like, you, there is this helping nature that you're supposed to have as well. <coughs> being, being, coming to the call of people, you know? So there's a certain sacrifice. There is a call. Like you said, she, you, she was supposed to help him. Like, that was your mission. Like, you can't, you can't really put yourself down for helping him. That was your no. supposed too, you know so and especially if you have the vision you have the intuition to do it do it you know i think that's another part of but you can't really look always look for the monetary return when it comes to the ace of spades or to those to the jack of hearts or those to those things because there's an ultimate sacrifice for a purpose or for information or knowledge or to help someone you know because there's a humanitarian aspect that comes with those minds as well she has to be very like one of the big things i've noticed about her into um uh electric lady so is she she's the 13th of january as well so um and born on Friday the thirteenth at that. <laughs> um, but, one, uh, right? Uh, I think. Uh, Friday, huh? I think October the thirteenth is. Oh Friday. yeah, we have one. Yeah, we do. We have a Friday the thirteenth uh, next week. Um, but yeah, so she one of her one of the big things that I noticed with her, you know, like in middle school and then getting into high school is <clears throat> getting in like, and I think it has a lot to do with that jack of hearts, wanting to save, wanting to help getting like when her and her um, best friend, when her best friend was in a relationship that my daughter didn't like the person, you know, my daughter had to go and save her and, and you know, get involved and like get involved. And I'm like, get out of her life, get out, you know, like, don't, don't, it's not your problem to fix. You know what I mean? Like, and she would really like push for it. So trying to, cause there is that desire. Like, that's one thing I never want people to like not help by all means, it's, it's one of the best feelings in this world. But at the same time, if I can, you know, don't do it at the sacrifice of yourself. Don't put yourself yeah. in harm's way to go and save that person. That's why I use the, the analogy of like, when you're on an airplane and you know, the you're, you're hitting some turbulence and the oxygen masks drop down, they tell you, put the mask on yourself first. How can you go and save everybody if you're suffocating, right? It's, it's not, you know, so I tried to get that because just for my own card, like that, my own life, you know, and it's sometimes it's hard, but I've watched it play out with her and I'm like, don't get involved. It's not your, your problem to solve, you know, and then she take it real personally with, I'm like, yo, <laughs> that's the seven of hearts. They will mm -hmm. say, oh my gosh, the <laughs> that is everything's personal everything is about them everything is about what i did for you and this and that like so it's this the it's the ultimate like when it's, like, it's the passion of christ and the ultimate sacrifice yeah the jack of hearts six of hearts but man when i i, I having y'all in mars or or whoever got y'all in pluto they will be in the clubs yeah that energy to the extreme you know, so they they are the ones that really have to watch their temperaments when it mm -hmm. comes to dealing with how they work with your energy. You know, it's mm -hmm. like be and speak to a jack of hearts. So like, don't don't sacrifice. Put like you tell them, like like put the oxygen mask on yourself first. You know, yeah. don't get so emotionally attached. That's why I think sometimes the seven hearts 
can do one-on-one -on -one consultations, but sometimes they may be best for the one-to-many because they can get so emotionally attached and reserve that energy for people they really want to save and not feel regretful for, you know, because it's like this, the Christ card, it's the Christ consciousness. Like when you think of Christ, these are concepts and principles that hold true. Like the speak, look at Dr. Martin Luther King, look at Nipsey Hussle, or, or look at um, John F. Kennedy. These people got killed for their missions that they were doing for people. Mm -hmm. That is that is the Christ. Mm -hmm. That, is, that mm -hmm. is living, breathing these cards and, and the Bible and these principles. Like mm -hmm. you see that these sometimes these things are inevitable and not to get mixed up on maybe the how, you know, and, and what and, and um because it's it's in all type of forms and, and places, you know, and missions. So, it, it, but it's a living, breathing entity, you know, and it's crazy to even think and see. Like, I'm, I was thinking, like, dang, like, these these principles are like law, you know? It's like the 52 laws, 48 laws of power. Like, these things are, are laws, and, and that's what the Ace of Spades, what, and that's what like, it's, you, eventually you have an epiphany with the Ace of Spades. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I have these epiphanies all the time. Like, mm -hmm. dang, these things are, are are living and breathing entities in their self and, and they play out all the time you know awesome. um so yeah but and it's like so hard to balance right uh and and but you and but it's what we came to learn like i mm -hmm. said it's like that and like the sun and in, in, in sun and Saturn. like are you going to learn why you keep mm -hmm. under the sun <laughs> like, mm -hmm. feel like you this is a, a classroom, a video game, all in one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who's playing. And think about it. I mean, the you level the up. You start at level one and level two, level three. It's fucking life, level you up. know. I mean, so. Uh, and it's uh, interesting when you talk about like yes, the seven of hearts having that jack of hearts in in Mars. The ace of spades has the jack of hearts in Jupiter. The queen of clubs has the jack of hearts in Pluto. And I've seen it play out like queen of clubs in my own life with somebody you know the the need to want to save ha has made this person's relationships shit like mm -hmm. he has a he cannot have a healthy relationship because he's constantly trying to save other people for whatever <laughs> reason i mean it, it goes way deeper but there it that's so tr like they're they're he's uh, can't, and, and here's the thing, he can't see that it's him. Can't even see it. Blinded can't by even the see it. Because <laughs> he's got to be the savior, you know, especially as a man, you know, and, and feeling this need to help and save. But at the same time, what you have right here is crumbling because mm -hmm. you're not seeing it. You don't see that what you're doing is, is and, and in your mind, you think you're doing something right. You think you're doing something noble. You think you're doing something good, but you're blindsided to it all because you're not you're you're not even aware of like what you 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 also miss what you have in front of you, um, and destroy them inevitably because you don't see your your role in 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 that destruction as well. <laughs> yeah, one sec. I have, I have to. Um... No, you're fine. I have to jump off in like a few, in, in a couple minutes because I gotta go, and I know you probably have to go too. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go to late because uh, I have I have I didn't do no orders this morning because <laughs> of <laughs> that long trip. So I have a car full of boxes. Um, so I, I know I'm a like so. This is just to tell you like the Ace of Spades. My Ace of Spades initiated in the King of Spades in December, January. I had the King of Spades. And and this is what happens when you don't when you're not in a relationship and you can focus on yourself, you become I'm a workaholic. That's the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm dedicated to your mission and and, and and especially if you see and you know what you want in those nines and that completion and um and whatever it may be. And it and it's a material or spiritual thing as well. So I can get lost in the material thing. So I have my schedule, I wake up at three o'clock. And then go to work at uh, for like three or four hours. Sometimes I get done in two, and then go back to work. 
at seven, three o'clock in the morning, then at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and then I get off of work at two or three, then go back at four or five until eight o'clock. Wow. <laughs> so that is the King of Space, Ace of Space. And, and it started during my King of Space um, time, uh, 52 day period. And I can't say that I miss days sometimes because I just don't get sleep. And that's probably about the only reason. <laughs> or there's no shifts available. But, you know, but yeah, that's the ace, other side of Ace of Space. You can say clear and dedicate yourself. Um, some, and if you commit yourself to those type of hours, you're going to find something, I promise you. <laughs> well, when they first, when her and, and her, um, the ex-boyfriend now, when they first, the, when he first initiated this breakup, she said, I'm going to work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That is the solution to all of this. It's I was like, I am not surprised. <laughs> I would have been in my bed, boo-hoo and all for, you know, ever. And she's like, I'm going to work. Fuck this. Like, I don't, I got to make my money. Like it was, what? you know, it was hilarious. <laughs> that is, that is the drive. Um, so yeah, I do have to go. Uh, thank you all. I was, we've talked so much. So much came out. I didn't get to go through all all of the comments, but I'll let your lady J Lo appreciate you all comments. Nick, um, what up? Oh, that was my hello uh, when Gina was talking. I didn't want to interrupt. So much was coming out. <laughs> um, um, she back she back with clarity when she went to. Please. Um, words. Uh, Capricorn, yeah, that mission that too. <clears throat> yeah, use this. You know, this week's a great week to, you know, really look at yourself. And, and like for me, like, you know, I didn't even realize when I had planned to start teaching the course for the cards that one, I, the only thing I looked at was what was the day that I decided to, to do it. And, and it's a two of diamonds day, which is my Pluto card. I was like, ah, okay. I think I like that. Cause I like, you know, the transformation and I'm a big, I have a lot of that Plutonian energy. So I was like, I, that's great. I didn't look at nothing else. I didn't, I didn't think about the week. I didn't think, I didn't look at my own cards and look at my own spread. And when I put it all together, I was like, that is just so dope, you know? So this, and, and, you know, I always tell people pay attention to the weekly card is are you in their spread like i'm their jupiter i'm the jupiter card this week i've been loving this energy it i have felt it's been fun i've been playful <laughs> i've been like woohoo and i'm excited to do this so i feel that i always tell people like this is your mercury you know though this is yeah this is your mercury card so you should be out com you know communicating more putting yourself out there more you know if the ace of spades is your you know, if it's your Jupiter card as the queen of clubs, you know, it, it should be a, a blessing, you know, to really rediscover yourself, your your intuitive powers. And you probably have some pretty dope ass dreams too. Um, and visions. That's another thing with this energy is, is being able to see, being able to see beyond the realm. Because remember, it's a Mercury Neptune energy. So you can kind of, you know, do that, that deep dive within and, and get connected. So it's a very powerful card here. Um, and you want to take advantage of this energy because it is a death and a rebirth. So how are you rebirthing yourself? How are you rebirthing your plans, the things that you maybe have been working on? You know, it's a good time to maybe get those going or plant those seeds and be ambitious and be driven about your goals and your desires and get go back to who you are, what you were focused on. Because like, and it's just been crazy to watch this energy play out in my own house. And I even told her at the beginning of the week, which I don't really too much get it with the cards with her because sometimes she rolls her eyes at me, but I was like, it's your week. And you're already, you feel this rebirth that's happening. So, you know, and, and, and I'm glad I kind of dropped that into her ear because she's really like motivated now, you know? So, it, you know, that's why that's, you know, being aware of these cards and these energies, the astrology, all of it, it's just a guide that helps you to, to, to understand what's, you know, what's playing out and, and how you can really, you like, we have this weekend, a really big, like, I think Nick had talked about it in the group chat, uh, Mars and Pluto are squaring. And I think it's around the King of Clubs day or something to that effect. So we have some really intense energy coming and, you know, make sure you're staying like, who are you? And because outside world may not, you know, be aware. And so it's not just you having to deal with your own stuff, but other, you know, the outside energy as well. So very powerful. Um, and we're we're in spades weekly all the way to the end of the year. 
So more intense energy. <laughs> Retro <Retracts. laughs> That's that's what I need more work. <laughs> but no, you definitely looking at where the cards are for you and like like you said where it is in your weekly or looking at like where it is in your spread like so you have so you have a light spread and then you have your weekly spread so um there's a lot of different ways and techniques we look at certain energies but this is really a, a tool that uses uh a lot of people that gravitate to it are probably mediums or psychics a lot of times and it usually confirms your intuition nine times out of ten um, so you'll go in and you'll find what you're looking for to confirm yourself a lot of times <laughs> um so that's one way that we was kind of taught to read was kind of mm -hmm. looking at the charts and seeing what gravitates to you or your eye or what feels best or what what's what you see right um because you start to create emotional intuition about what's taking place or the energy that's happening um i don't like to read myself but a lot of times you can really read yourself um i'm a three i'm a little indecisive <laughs> so if you can't a lot of times, just a little <laughs> <laughs> so if you just as little indecisive as me just knowing the basics of the cards and the information and the patterns behind the cards it's kind of like the laws and power like these cards have patterns that are inevitable and that is the pattern of the ace of spades is recognizing the inevitable that happens so that's why gina like when you uh, or whomever when we're talking we're talking about looking at your spread and seeing what these cards are for you in the week right because for me this this is my mercury card you know I had like a lot of epiphanies, you know, just just coming about and, and thinking about myself. Like I said, I had to look back and like, what is it sometimes or what is it that's kind of holding me back, you know, or what is it that's that I can see myself being ambitious, but there's sometimes a lot of fear that's attached to certain things that I want. And then also looking at the journey of the Ace of Spades as a student and someone that a lot of times finds expertise later in life and they may go through life juggling and trying out a lot of different things you know having to complete something to even know that if that's what you want to do or what that's what you want to accomplish um so yeah we don't want to hold you up i, ha I do have to go um if y'all have questions and i will be late so i am sacrificing a little bit if y'all can donate a little bit <laughs> And hit Gina up for readings, cash app. Don't you only have to donate, but get a book. Uh, there's books and links in the uh, bio. Gina is doing classes. Gina, you want to tell them about your classes, the times, and expectations? Um, sorry, can you hear me? Okay. Um, we start this Saturday. Um, it'll be held on Zoom. Just email me at guidedbythecards at gmail or message me on Instagram. Um, and I'll send you all the information. Uh, I'm really excited. It'll be eight weeks. And just like Rashad was talking about, like having a great foundation of what these cards are. And they, they do, they, they patterns the cycles and really being able to connect it, really seeing the whole spread. It's not just one card. It has all these other cards and just being able to connect them. And I want to be able to teach people, you know, how I kind of see it and how I put it together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. And, you know, it's a long time coming. So I'm grateful for everyone who signed up. I'm really excited to do this journey and, and I'll probably do it more as well. Um, so yeah, but enjoy the rest of this week, strong energy this weekend. So just be mindful when you're out traveling because Mars square Pluto can be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever you're marketing, you shouldn't say pricing, but I bet to differ because that gives some people realistic expectations is there a price or how much is the classes or well they can just email me you know okay. i don't yeah I'll, I'll send everything in the email because i have like, like there's payment plans that they can do um it's not payment plans it's just different options to pay so um but yeah just email me okay so um she doesn't beg to differ so <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna find out but i'm pretty sure gina is a jack of hearts so she puts her heart and her soul in this so i'm no matter what or how much it is it's it's worth it because this is something you can take with you for life i'm not gonna lie this is out of all any class or anything people like say scams and those things but i feel like if 
when it comes to spirituality and 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 people have a hard time buying into it but you're not realizing that these are principles and things that you're going to take with you for life like no one is ever going to take this away from you or this information and it also is does the non dominance things which empowers you you know it, 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 and it's not something you learn overnight either like we've no, been you know, I'm five years in now. When you think about it, when I first got introduced to this, these cards, it's been five years and studying literally constantly for the last, um, you know, with doing the, the weekly readings that I've been doing, I think has been, you know, by far the best teacher because you see the patterns, you see the plates, like, right, you know, how they all travel and stuff like that. So, and I've been doing those consistently for almost two years. So, and I finally feel like, okay, I feel ready to do, like, I wouldn't have taught at the beginning. No way. Because I need it. You know, I think you ha like just to, where I am now, I'm in a better space and have a better connection. And it is, it really is teaches your, your intuition. I gave a reading last night and I told her, I said, you knew all this. She's like, it just confirms what I knew. I was, yes. Yeah, see, that's the thing all the time. You already know. So having these cards, then you're like, it one I tell you one thing that has led you to believe to trust yourself, trust what you feel, trust what you see, trust what you you know sense. Like that's what it teaches you. It's that's why I call it cardology and you because it's going to teach you you more than it's going to teach you anything else. And then you can go on and help other people because that's what I've learned is myself. And now I can go and help other people with the energy and and, and connect it so you can have a better understanding of how how you think and just it you know. I, but I do have to go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And what's your cash app, by the way? Just uh, G Scorza. Yeah, I think G Scorza. That's it. But I'm, yeah, that's mine, I think. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and all right, I'll let you go. Um, enjoy. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, join her classes, and we'll speak to you all next week. I don't know when Madeline was, but I'm sure with able to join us. She's, she's, move so but enjoy hope you all have a nice one um that was one more thing i wanted to say before uh about that but maybe i'll do it on instagram talk to y'all later but <laughs> bye rashad peace everybody talk to you soon have a good week let me post hers and get her some screen time she believe that's how you um push it but her Instagram and everything is in her comments. But that was one thing I did want to say before I we ended. Yeah, the Ace of Spades is the life student. That's what it was. It's a life student. You're not gonna learn this overnight. <clears throat> You're gonna have epiphanies, like I said. There was an Ace of Spades I talked to, talk to, and he wanted advice on hiring. And, and and getting people and, and knowing other people and learning this information for the for work and, and knowing who's working around him. In the books, it advises not to the ace of space, not to get caught up into that, you know. So that was one of the things that I didn't know when I first started, but I also knew, but I also don't think sometimes agree with a lot of the books that's why i said this is a life study because your experience is going to teach you because there's a certain amount of information i think or benefit it is to know astrological information but i think where the book is puts the ace of space and not trying to understand everyone's not using it for like work and those things is it's not getting attached and trying to control people and knowing that destiny happens and not being manipulative as well but other than that, you all have a nice day. Thank you all, and we'll talk to you all next week. Thank you all for your comments and cooperation and, uh, and you know, inspiration.